Chester County, Pennsylvania, number nine best school district. We got Avon Grove School District. So Avon Grove encompasses uh, six townships, a couple of boroughs, um, the West Grove area of Chester County. It's got one elementary school, one intermediate school, one middle school, and one high school. Like other really good districts in Chester County and in general, Avon Grove offers advanced placement classes, foreign language, has a great music program too. So what we see common in a lot of great districts, and Avon Grove is also one of them, is there's a, a, a great amount of parent involvement, but also community support with the district. You got just over 5,000 students from kindergarten up to 12th grade in four schools, like I mentioned. We got Penn London Elementary, got Avon Grove Intermediate, then we got Fred Engel Middle School and Avon Grove High School. So Avon Grove School District, which is located in West Grove, Pennsylvania. So more than two thirds of all of the students are 75% plus proficient in math and science and reading. Now these are based on test scores. Now if you've seen any of our videos on any of our school districts, or even if you haven't, check them out. We'll put some links below and above and around. The rating of a school is entirely based on the outcome of the state standardized tests. Now that's not always 100% accurate on whether the district is excellent or not, but it's really a good, a good way to describe and a good way to show the ranking. Now we went into a, a really in depth on a video of a few websites that we really like, but I did mention at the beginning of the video that this is, this school district is number nine, number nine, number nine. <laughs> <laughs> Number nine in Chester County. So with a 17 to one student to teacher ratio. Now, if you remember from another video, or if you, this is your first video, thank you for stopping out. And while you're here, hit that subscribe button, hit the comment button, hit that like button. Alrighty then. So 17 to one is amount of staff per student. So every one staff member, for 17 students. It may not necessarily be the classroom size, but the classroom size in Avon Grove is very similar to those that are around our wonderful fair city of Philadelphia. 17 to one ratio, but the class size is somewhere right around 20, 22 on average, which is an excellent size. So the district is about 35 miles, a little more than 30 miles outside of Center City. Now to kind of give you a regional idea of where it is, it's also 18 miles from Wilmington, Delaware. So you've got a nice trek into Philadelphia or down, down Delaware, as I like to say. So it's about 70 square miles. We got Franklin, London, and Britain townships. We also have Grove, New London, and Penn. We can't forget the two boroughs. We've got Avondale and West Grove. So general consensus on the World Wide Web, and you know if you read it on the internet, then it must be true, especially, especially in this day and age, right? But with all joking aside, we do check out, we do talk about three great websites for the, for the school rankings, and uh, there are uh, several more, there are uh, dozens of them, but there, there's a few that we really like, and we talk about that uh, in another video. Uh, but according to Niche, Niche, N-I-C-H-E, Niche.com, Avon Grove gets an overall A minus rating. <clears throat> now, uh, Niche, or a Niche, is rating it by obviously a letter grade like you would get in school. Now, some of the schools, <laughs> don't even use letter grades anymore. I, I, I can only imagine maybe somebody got offended <laughs> by, by getting a B instead of an A. But anyway, all joking aside, these websites that we suggest or that we like looks at everything as an overall, again, test scores. It also looks at parent involvement, community involvement, budgetary, how strong are they financially? They look at the education level of the teachers, higher education, how, much, how many of those folks have a higher level of education than just a bachelor's degree, uh, which, is a, which is a great feat, and by the way. They look at the school programs, uh, after school, during school. They also 
take into account the school lunches. Now, with all joking aside, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's certainly a, an important consideration. Um, it, it's also crucial, or I think is beneficial, to check out what the taxes are. So the taxes are always in direct correlation to the school district. I mean, the major part, the most part of your taxes, the highest amount of your taxes is for the school district. So the better the district, the higher the taxes sometimes, uh, but there are some really um, not so good districts or not so highly ranked districts that do have some larger taxes. So Avon Grove always comes in or usually does come in out of five or 600 school districts in the entire state, always in the top 100. Also always in the top 100, give or take, depending on this time of day, top 100 of most diverse and also the top 100 of the best teachers in the school district. So as you get closer to Philadelphia, they do a ranking there as well and you're in the top 50 of the best district overall, the most diverse and the best teachers. Overall, we like Avon Grove because it's like a good bang for your buck. You have a beautiful blend of diversity. You've got a great blend of teachers. You've got an excellent, uh, strong financially. You've got a really good curriculum. You've got really good after school programs. It's a really great uh, overall bang for your buck. Now, when you look at Avon Grove in Chester County, we're really tightening it up. It's always in the top five of the best districts in the county. Now, we mentioned it's number nine, so there's probably a dozen districts in Chester County. At this moment in time, here we are, what are we, towards the end of 2021, Avon Grove is ranking in the top 10. So Avon Grove District in West Grove is uh, kind of wedged between Oxford and, and um, Kennett Square. Now we did a video on uh, Kennett Square, so check that out for sure. Uh, it's a, a more of a rural area. Now it's not the, the country necessarily, although there are some beautiful country parts uh, of this, this particular area, but it's definitely more rural than it is suburban. Uh, but like I mentioned before, close to getting into the city of Philadelphia, close to getting to Delaware. It's really a, um, a not too far from Maryland as well. Now, I do want to note as well that on these websites that we suggest you look at, um, including greatschools.org and the one I mentioned earlier, if I spelled it right or didn't pronounce it right. But again, what's very particularly notable about Avon Grove is that all of their schools are always highly ranked. So we don't have one school necessarily overpowering. They're all, uh, it's, it's a really good steady flow and a steady higher ranking. So we got a 95% graduation rate. And that's pretty darn good if you ask me. The proficiency of test scores, again, two thirds are more than three quarters proficient in math and science an average SAT score of right around 1,200. So the median home value here in this area is just over 300,000 at a median rent in that 13, maybe $1,500 range. Of course, there's stuff higher and lower. An average household income of about 75,000. So when we do these videos, we always like to point out that the, the districts that we discuss and that we, we, we like to talk about or those that are popular, let's say, say we like to talk about, like to talk about things that are unpopular too, right? We need to have information. Information is power. Uh, you don't think I know that? <laughs> it's important to note that the blend of the district and the community, the community has grant programs available to get you into the district. There are a lot of activities and a lot of support from the community in general. So even if you don't go to the school or have children in school or even thinking of going to the school or having kids in the school, definitely when you're buying real estate, it's a super important, one of the most important considerations is what school district you're in. Well, I hope you found this video helpful. I hope Avon Grove is smiling from ear to ear like I try to be as much as I can. If you found this video useful, 
Well, why don't you let me know? Comment that down below. This video was useful. If it wasn't useful, comment that down below. We can take it and we do answer all communication. I'm Gregory Martier, your local real estate expert here in the greater Philadelphia area and in West Grove, Pennsylvania, Chester County. Hit me up if you need anything at all. You can shoot me a text, send me a message. You can email us. You can send us a letter. We still use fax. You can call me. Uh, well, you could send smoke signals. You could send a carrier pigeon. Be happy to help and glad to do it. Have a great day, everybody.